Well, hello there, everyone. Here you show you right here. I'm talking about for executive orders, and uh, what does it usually mean uh, when we give like a, you know, an ex when we give an executive order? Are we basically talking about is, is that you know, yeah, that, that whenever you're going to be president of the United States or if you're going to be governor, that, that that's another way of stating you know setting new rules and guidelines, right? It's basically a, a new rule, a new rule to where that um. That this is what uh, basically is required or upon you know, for the for an agreement and uh, and let's just say that uh, like uh, anybody might even say too that if you're going to be watching the State of Union addresses and also that uh, watching the, the president's speech or anything uh, that they're going to be talking about you know even on the news media though that uh, it's another way of how you want to cause like to where that you're know, talking about when Democrats and Republicans you know they're able to come together and. And vote on a certain scale, you know, between uh, fifty to forty-nine or something like that on a on a certain decision made by Congress, and also um, it could also be like you through the Senate, also and you know other, other things like that. But uh, but talk about right here, uh, knowing about you know for what goes on in the country right here. So it's like yeah, that uh, when we think about that, to where that you know, talks about okay, our country, our future, the time. That that makes a difference in uh, you know about our national security and in our education decisions that not yet have uh, you know, passed through the Senate you know, to make uh, it to the president's desk. So a lot of times it um, whatever we watch uh, listen to the president talking though it's like yeah that uh, that most of the time though that uh, which I was thinking too is toward that uh, we're talking about. Uh, you know, including climate change and in the, the improvement of infrastructure and also jobs. You know, a lot of it, uh, what I heard is uh, talk about jobs. And um, so it seems like to me that, uh, you know, yeah, when we think about an executive order, that uh, it's like knowing about, you know, it's another way of stating as to where that, yeah, it's a new uh, Rule that uh, that you know Congress is saying is to where according to you know by law that this is what uh, you know how things need to go so far as creating jobs and then also uh, that that uh, you know just to be able to boost the economy and uh, in other things you know with our national security and all that so it's like yeah that um, that whenever we think about that though it sure seems that way to where that uh, you know, yeah that uh, that whenever. You know, yeah, that, uh, you know, executive orders and other things that, uh, that the president talks about and all. And uh, so it sure seems that way to word it that, you know, number one, though, that, uh, you know, can executive order also be a basis toward it? Yeah, that uh, if it's another way of how do you want to cause this toward, okay, well, if it's really just about opinions or if it's about the requirements. And uh, based on from what I understand, it seems like it's all about their requirements. Now, it's not really about what's really optional, and uh, like anybody might even say, too, that uh, if you're going to be listening to the president's speech a lot of times, it's like, yeah, that, um, but uh, you had a speaker of the house, and also, I'm like, yeah, yeah, but uh, tell everybody, too, that, you know, you go ahead and write in something right here, and then you start talking about, you know, stuff about the news and all that, but still, that, um, but talking about right here, that, um, uh, that whenever it comes to understanding about our future, right, and it sure seems that way to where that the first thing that really comes to my mind about each time that I listen to the president talk, and anybody say that, you know, about maybe every year on President's Day that you're going to be watching, you know, the president come on TV and talk about stuff, and, you know, at the time, you're probably thinking too, is to where, the, okay, yeah, well, if you're going to maybe be, uh, you know, um, listening to the president talking about something, and if it's, you know, if it's about maybe 8 o'clock at night, if you really should be working on your homework, are you going to be taking a, a few minute pause from your homework just to be able to watch the president? And uh, so, like, every year, about maybe every now and then, and I'll go ahead and, and do that. You know, like anybody say this toward it, well, you still, you still got to do your homework, but then you can just pause away from that, you know, so that way you can go and listen to what the president had to, had to say, and, uh, so it sure seems that way, like everybody else would say, too, is to where the, yeah, well, you know, most of the time, you know, most of the time, though, it's like, yeah, that, that that's just another, uh, 
way to where that you know you don't they're not going to count you as tardy just because you know like uh, anybody that might even say too that you know, you would be uh you know will you be automatically excused uh, if you were to listen to the president talking about something or if it's anything uh, that is related to maybe that a meeting about something your know, conference meeting about something so a lot of times it sure seems that way that yeah well you had a doctor's appointment at four o'clock but then you didn't go to it you know, right away, you know, you were a little bit late getting to your doctor's appointment, but there was anything else that, that that you were needing to take care of. So it's like that. You know, when you think about that, though, is like, yeah, you go ahead and, and listen to uh, what uh, they're talking about, you know, especially on the news. And sometimes it uh, people might say is to where they, yeah, well, you know, uh, whenever sometimes whenever the the president is on TV uh, talking about something, and you know, you if you're getting ready to take care of something, and uh, but still. But it's like, yeah, but most of the time that, you know, if you were to be uh, turned the radio, tuned into the radio station, or maybe if you're going to be, uh, you know, yeah, the TV stations, or maybe uh, connecting on stream, you know, going to like Instagram, or, you know, connecting on Facebook, and then a lot of times you'll be able to watch uh, stream videos from there, and uh, be able to listen to uh, what they were talking about on there. But it sure seems that way to where the, yeah, that, uh, you know, if you were getting ready to take care of something or if you had to make an appointment. And then uh, you know, I say, yeah, well, just to be able to listen to what the president you know, had to say about that. And uh, so it's like, yeah, that um, also about negotiating with other countries. You know, talking about uh, between, uh, yeah, you know, tra- resources about the j- climate change and also about jobs. And uh, I'm like, yeah, which I, which I know I said that before about jobs, but... But jobs can mean a number of things, really. But let's just say that, uh, you know, people might even say, too, that if we're talking about jobs here, that, that one of those jobs is also going to include, like, what you call that, you know, yeah, that, uh, you know, work um, that um, is uh, assigned to you. And uh, so at the time, it sure seems that way that... Uh, that well, what what does that usually mean? Uh, whenever that you know, yeah assigned. Um, whenever uh, if you were asked to work a job, and let's just say that uh, you know that job, uh, you know does not even require you to fill out uh, an application or some sort, and everybody else might even say too that uh, that uh, you know a lot of times. So it's like yeah, well jobs though that uh, jobs to where that. Uh, that stuff, I'm like, yeah, assignments that come up that maybe sometimes that uh, they are unexpected assignments. And also with uh, some of these assignments we're talking about is as to where to, how do you know if you qualify for a lot of those uh, positions? And a lot of times it's like, you know, you hear about that, about the senior citizens who are qualified for certain things. And and uh, you want to know, too, that, you know, yeah, well, you know, uh, most of the time, you know, it sure seems that way that um, that uh, the the president might even say that is to word yeah, well, you know, if you want to spread the word by telling everybody, like on Instagram or in Twitter or sites like that, and telling everybody that, hey, you know, uh, if you want to tell people, I'm like, you know, tell them about what they can do so far as, that, yeah, if you are a member, if you have, uh, you know, Medicare or if you are a uh, uh, if you are a member, I'm like, oh, yeah, based on your insurance and also if you are a senior citizen and, you know, yeah, the things that, that, that you're qualified for, if you are, if you do have, a, you know, if you are a member or if you uh, are part of that, that, part of that, of that plan and uh, so, so plan on the group, you know, like most of the time when I usually see those talk about for insurance though, but let's just say that um, if we're talking about that when we're filling out an application a lot of times, it sure seems that way that uh, you go ahead and, and uh, there's going to be a question on there saying is toward it, uh, you know, uh, are you, uh, yeah, are you a member, um, a valid, I'm like, yeah, yeah or, if you, or if you are a valid uh, member, are you a valid member of uh, this uh, you know group? Uh, so so let's just say that uh, if we were to start out uh, the sentence by saying as to where something like, you know, yeah, that uh, talking about that uh, you're a valid member, but then also uh, memberships. 
So let's just say that uh, memberships and then also uh, if, if you are, you know, yeah, familiar with like, uh, I can just say also too that the, you're familiar with um, these, um, you know, that these, uh, you know, like uh, if we want to, you know, yeah, these, these play, I'm like, oh, yeah, if you want to kind of call them maybe just a little bit pl uh, plans or anything like that, but if you're familiar with uh with these, uh, you know, groups, or if you want to kind of call them, as to where, like, yeah, talk about for, you know, expansion plans, or I'm like, oh, yeah, I can just use, like, expansion. So, yeah, a lot of times, uh, you know, what does it basically mean, you know, whenever we're talking about expansions, you know, talk about groups and expansions right here. What does that pretty much mean? Is to where that yeah, that and more. And I, I can go and put that down here on the bottom. So it's like, yeah, that uh if you'll be checking out any source of uh of insurance plan, and let's just say that um that that insurance plan is going to include like something so far as that you know, yeah, that 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 and more. If you signed up uh, for a certain plan in particular that uh, what it usually means is to word it, yeah, well, you know, if you sign up just to get on that plan, then, then this is what you could be qualified for, is to word it, yeah, the, what you call that, uh, you know, if it's uh, you know, access, I guess uh, a, lot of comp a lot of insurance companies would, uh, you know, access to full coverage, uh, full, yeah, full benefits. Access to full benefits, and uh, so it's like, yeah. So if you are uh, a Medicaid, I'm like, yeah, yeah Medicaid for uh, Medicaid expansion, and also other insurance uh, providers, and you know, like you know, anything uh, that uh, that I'm like, yeah. So a lot of times it sure seems that way. That uh, in case if anybody were to ask me though, that uh, you know, really, that uh, you know, do you know anybody who? Uh, what insurance that they have, or if anything about it, what sorts of degree and study, and and you know other things like that, and uh, yeah, job training, but still that. Uh, so if we were to talk about that in uh, one o two, is that um, that uh, knowing about what are the pretty much the basic requirements about being qualified for some of these jobs. And also that, uh, you know, yeah, that, you know, some of these jobs that don't even require a college degree in some of them and half the time, it's sure, I'm like, yeah, some of them that do require, you know, I'm like, yeah, ask you to work up to, up to 40 hours a week or so, I'm like, you know, yeah, 40 hours a week. So a lot of times that whenever we see a lot of these job advertisements, though, it sure seems that way that, uh, that uh, they're going to tell you about the job details and, of course, that they're going to maybe tell you about you know, other things that maybe that, uh, you know, you are not uh, aware of, such as as to where that, uh, you know, yeah, that, uh, that uh, you would maybe have to go through some training and also you would probably maybe have to have a license and also that uh, you would maybe have to, uh, what you call, like, you know, yeah, that, that, you know, about the job, though, that, that the job descriptions and all, but, you know, still, that, um, but I know with me, though, that uh, whenever we think about, an executive order, though, that uh, do we look at that as just a new, a new source of agreement? You know, it's it's like a, it's kind of like like an agreement to where that uh, that you know whenever the president you know like yeah signs or a governor that signs an agreement though that, that that's just a, you know that's an, another way of stating as to where that this is what's going to be uh, you know requir required I guess if it's a, if it's another way of how you say is to where it's required to the constitutional rights and then also about. Um, for the Senate, that um, that whenever uh, whenever a bill passes, that uh, that's another way of stating as to where that yeah these are the directions for what you know for what what goes on in the country and then of course for the economy. But still, in, in case if anybody were to ask me though, that do you think that maybe that uh, the president yeah the president maybe has uh, signed just a little bit too many executive orders. Ah, uh, the whole ten years, and so let's just say that uh, about every five to ten years, that there's going to be uh, what you call like you know, yeah, you know, a few of the executive orders that about every five or ten years, that there's going to be a new role, a new role in, in play, and uh, so a lot of times it's like yeah, you know, usually on average that uh, that a president would only be able to, you know, he should only be uh, allowed to maybe uh, 
sign and negotiate about, you know, at least seven executive orders out of a certain period of time since they took office. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, that whenever we think about this is that, uh, you know, yeah, well, really, that uh, for what goes on in the country, though, and uh, 102 is toward it. Yeah, well, you know, uh, I'm like, I had not really done the math about, you know, how many, I'm like, yeah, about how many, how many minutes are equal to a year? I would say at least maybe 4,000 minutes or so, maybe 14,000 or so. But still, that uh, you know, if we were calculating, I'm like, you know, for the whole course of the year, though, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, you read about that to where that the president signs an executive order. But it's like you want to know, too, is to where that, yeah, well, you know, about how many of them that were signed within a certain time period in, and let's just say talk about for climate change and the other one is for infrastructure. But then also, yeah, putting people, you know, who are eligible, who are qualified, putting them back to work. But um, but it sure seems that way that uh, knowing about that um, from all the things that have been going on in this country, though. And uh, we want to know, too, is to word that, um, that, yeah, you know, uh, Whenever it comes to an executive order, though, that uh, people might even say, too, is to word that, yeah, but those executive orders, though, that uh, is that the same thing as putting, a, you know, a certain amount on a credit card, you know, like everybody else might even want to know, too, if you want to use a credit card as an example. You know, do you want to use a credit card as an example, like a gift card, to where you go ahead and, and uh, you know, if it's another way of how do you want to call it, as to where, yeah, it's... It's an agreement for a deposit and also uh, a new rule and law to word it um, that, that these are, this is what's going to be going on after a bill passes. After a bill passes and this is what's going to be going on for what the, the new rules are going to be. And so it's like, uh, you know, yeah. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, whenever it comes to uh, understanding a little bit more of... Um, you know, about the executive orders, though, that uh, we probably thinking that, okay, yeah, yeah, well, executive orders, it's another way of stating to word that, uh, yeah, you know, a, uh, a new uh, uh, way uh, of uh, how uh, the commander-in-chief, Lee, uh, how, yeah, That the commanders, uh, I'll just say the commander in chief. Um, now, how the commander in chief uh, will uh, will guide, uh, I'm like, uh, yeah, guide and uh, will guide, I'm like, uh, guide to uh, give uh, permissions. And a lot of times, it sure seems that will be you know, really, you know, for permissions. And so, is, is there another way? If that's another way of how you want to call is to word it, you know, for an executive order. It's another way, you know, I don't know, is there one way or if there's many ways, you know, how you want to describe it. But still, that uh, an executive order, it's a, it's a rule, um, a new rule, a rule that uh, takes uh, in place... Um, after uh, the president signs you're giving uh you know, yeah for for permissions um, or you know yeah for you know if you want to also look at it, it's like a president signs you know also uh, requesting For the for for those changes, you know, for for the changes. So let's just say that uh, well, whenever it comes to yeah jobs and then also infrastructure and climate change and education and also uh, you know yeah you know national security and your know, other you know executive orders and you know as well. But you know still that uh, but what we're talking about, I'm like you know according to what I was reading about though is that. Uh, the, yeah, that uh, 
well, we're, we're talking about that maybe a little bit, a few more executive orders that were signed into law this year than compared to usual. So, uh, I mean, we, we want to know, too, that, uh, you know, at the time you want to know, too, that, you know, does one year give the president enough time to do all that? And then also anything else, uh, according to, uh, you know, the, like, uh, you know, yeah, according to... Um, it's like a for what any source of agreements is so far as the, yeah the stimulus checks and all, but you know, still I know with me though that um, that you know by each time I think about that though is like you know you listen to the president speak about something and uh, the first thing that's really going to come to my mind of course is going to be is toward it yeah well is the president really asking all of us to do our fair share of the work so far as it yeah you know you go ahead and I'm oh like uh you know. You do your fair share of the work by explaining to somebody about, you know, something and how something works, or if anything, just listen to what the president well, wants to talk, you know, has to talk about and all that, but still, that, uh, but one uh, key factor, remember, is to know, is to word a yeah, that, um, that with, you know, talk about for education, though, and, uh, so it's like, yeah, you know, most of us, uh, have a been a tour that, uh, you know, if we're going to be uh, listening to the president talking and all that, then you're probably thinking, too, that, uh, you know, most of us have uh, gained a lot of our education just by doing this virtual learning. And uh, to me, though, I just really think, too, that, uh, you know, president can also think, too, that, uh, you know, the time that we spend at home... And a lot of times I keep thinking too is toward that the, the times that we spend at home doing a lot of our homework or talk about for homeschooling and you know doing this virtual learning and everything. And a lot of times I just really think too that, that like in case of anybody that may want to know too that uh, whenever it comes to uh, you know responsibilities and uh, understanding about you know for what needs to be taken care of so far as parenting and uh, taking care of other things also and uh, you're likely thinking too that you know yeah with the virtual learning and everything and you're probably like 102 that yeah well parents you know they got their jobs too and they can't always you know take care of certain I'm like you know yeah like the two teachers and the tutors and and uh, anybody else that uh, that needs further assistance with something and so that's why it sure seems that way that uh when we think about that that um that whenever it comes to uh understanding about what goes on in this country though and you're probably thinking is toward the first thing that you're going to be thinking about is toward the yeah well what if it's not your job if it's not your job to explain this or if it's not your job you know just to be able to uh, go to the application just to go through the paperwork and maybe even go to the meeting and so the first thing that you're going to maybe think is toward the yeah well really that uh you know, if it's really your job, and then, of course, if you were ordered to take care of it, and, uh, but still. So, it's like, uh, yeah, yeah, but when we think about that, too, and, uh, you got right here is the vice president right here, but if we've seen this right here, <laughs> take a closer look at that, but, uh, you know, still, that, um, but talking about with, um, with executive orders right here, that, um, 40 hours a week, but then also, uh, knowing that, uh, that, you know, for every, uh, For every uh, American citizen who uh, could uh, qualify, who could you know who could qualify, you know for uh, for certain benefits, or yeah, I'll just say for full benefits, for full benefits. So really, that. Uh, and which I know for sure that uh, people are going to say too that, that, you know, whenever it comes to uh, doing our research a lot of times, it sure seems that way to where that, yeah, well, really, that, uh, you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to call this as to where that, and <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, people who uh, could have been qualified for something that whole time, whenever, if they had insurance or if they were members of, of on their insurance plan or anything like that, and, and at 102 is to word it that, you know, you, you know, it seems like to me that a lot of times it sure seems that way. It starts out by a conversation to word it, yeah, well, um, well, first of all, whenever you bring up a topic about something and uh, you're probably thinking too that, yeah, you, you talk to your doctor about something, you know, anything that's, 
you know, anything that's going to come to your mind and anything that might come concerned or something like that. And, and you're probably thinking too is toward it. Yeah, well, you know, really that, that just to follow up about, about anything, any questions that you might have and all, but, but still that, um, but it sure seems that way that, uh, by every time we think about this right here is that, you know, yeah, you listen to the president talking about certain things and you're probably thinking too that, you know, really, you know, Whose job really is, is it really to explain about, you know, okay, yeah, you know, you go ahead and, and if you know anybody uh, who's a member of that insurance plan or if you know anybody who has their degree in teaching or anything like that or their doctor's degree or anything like that. So, so a lot of ways, I just really think that, uh, you know, yeah, I, I put this sign right here. I'm like, you know, yeah. Is this what I was thinking about right here? Talk about right here, you know, talk about for the, you know, for the seal right there. But you know, still that, um, based on what I learned though, and based on from my opinion about certain things, and like everybody else might even say that, yeah, well, you know, really, that um, if you're gonna be talking, write a description about an executive order right here, and uh, I'll go and add right here that that you know, changes talking about changes right here, but talk, but mainly about agreement. And agreement, uh, you know, from uh, from each, uh, you know, from each party. So that's another way of how you want to describe an executive order to where that you whenever you know the Democrats and Republicans whenever they come together and trying to and then they place a, a vote, you know, between a a, a forty, uh, yeah, forty, uh, fifty nine. I would just say a, a forty nine percent. Uh, to a 39% or something like that. So I'm like, I don't really know what all the scores are, would be uh, whenever it comes to uh, an agreement to where that, yeah, you know, for if a bill passes in the Senate and then, uh, you know, any source of, of talk and discussions in a matter and all that. But let's just say that, uh, that like, say for an executive order, that, that it's another way of how you want to call this to where the, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a request and your decisions, you're talking, you know, like uh, the Democrats and Republicans would also come up with like uh, with those discussions to where that uh, they're going to go ahead and make a few points and have their discussions and then uh, you know, talk about to what could really be improved uh, for the better and then also uh, to, to talk about any sorts of statements, you know, decisions and also so so it's like yeah that um so all together that that's about maybe uh, about maybe four days total you know four days out of a week. You know, just to be able to come up upon, you know, any sorts of decisions that are made. And uh, plus, uh, on top of that, maybe, you know, two weeks uh, total. I'll go and put on here two weeks, uh, two weeks total just to be able to uh, talk and, you know, to decide. And then uh, for anything that, uh, you know, for what, you know, for the certain party, you know, for anything that it's talked about, right? And uh, so it sure seems that way that... Um, that whenever we're talking, whenever we talk about uh, politics, and whenever we talk about these meetings and all that, and so it sure seems that way. That uh, you know, is it really? Is it every year to where that uh, whenever we think about uh, climate change, inf infrastructure, and education, are we thinking about about uh, you know twelve months? So we're th we're talking about uh, that uh, you know one of uh, twelve months. So yeah, if we're if we're thinking about twelve months right here, twelve months, you know, so twelve months would give uh, the Democrats and Republicans, you know, yeah, plenty of time to where they're gonna go ahead and decide and trying to get everybody to agree on certain things. They're trying to get to everybody to uh, to show their point to where that yeah that uh, you know decisions they are made and also about you know yeah job creation and also. You know, it's it's another way of how to put together a package. It's another, yeah, it's it's an agreement. It's a package. You know, like I guess an executive order can also be explained in a number of ways. But you know, but also, I could also think too that that you know, yeah, maybe just a little bit that I think the president has, uh, you know, did a little bit more. I'm like, has signed a little bit, a few more executive orders, and compared to usual, what I usually see, like about maybe. It's about, you know, maybe every year or so uh, that, that there's only about maybe five of them that are, uh, that are signed with, you know, into law. But then now it seems like 
that this year that there's about what I heard that there's about maybe a little you know closer I think 200 executive orders I mean I I had not really counted but um but you know if there's been at least 200 executive orders yeah 200 executive orders You know, it's like, yeah, trying to spell it executive, yeah. And there's been at least 200 executive orders signed into, into law. And uh, I'm like, I, I really don't know if that's uh, the exact correct amount. But still, that, uh, you know, Michael, what they're talking about on the news, though, that, uh, you know, yeah, that, uh, that if we're talking about, you know, between now and 2022, that uh, if we're talking about more money, if we're also talking about that, uh, you know, for how, uh, John, I'm like, yeah, yeah, for how progress, you know, how much progress is made also. And uh, if you want to call it, call it, I'm like, yeah, progress. Yeah, pro progress. So a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, it sure seems that way that, um. That when are we thinking about an executive order, though, that, uh, you know, half the time, it's like, you know, half, an executive order, to me, though, that sounds just a little bit like, you know, yeah, you know, you're putting, you know, you're putting a, you know, a task and duties on a credit card. And, uh, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's like an, you know, it's an objective. And uh, it's, like, it's, a, it's another way of how you want to say it. it's like, a, it's like a promise. And it, of course, it's an objective. And, uh. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that um, that uh, whenever it comes to an executive order, though, that uh, whenever the president does talk about some of that stuff, and like since he took office, that it's like uh, he probably knew that there was uh, going to be a uh, a real big job uh, ahead, you know, within uh, you know since he took office during the, the first one hundred days, you know, since he took office, and uh, so it sure seems that way that. Um, that, you know, do we think that maybe just a little bit that, uh, you know, during the first 100 days since he took office that, uh, you know, maybe that we're talking about um, a lot of, uh, you know, like, yeah, a lot of uh, duties and responsibilities and also uh, whenever a bill that doesn't pass and then also it could also mean to where that, um, that I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, like, uh, I mean, I really don't know about I'm like, yeah, like anybody else would probably say to uh, talk about for the Democrats and Republicans and also supporters and but but still that uh but you know he probably knows I'm like that um uh, for the most part that uh, he probably knows. You know, President Biden also knows that you know he's you know for uh, for being a president that uh you know, just to be able to fix the economy and then improve our infrastructure and everything that uh, you know we're talking about, you know, yeah. You know, uh and I can also, in case of anybody that may want to know too, do you want to go ahead and try to spell it? You know, to word it that it's a zero, 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 you know, nine, 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 or anything like that. Nine, 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 you know. I don't know if you want to leave that eight on there, whichever, but you know, still, that, um, you know, we're talking about, you know, trillion, um, I've done the calculations right here, in case of anybody that may want to know too, that um, for Congress though, that um, we're talking about that um, within the, the, the next 10 years from now, or we may be, be, be talking about maybe a zillion dollars. I'm like, right now it's, it's trillion. Right now it's trillion dollars. Point trillion dollars and a little bit, but still, that uh, like everybody else might even say too that yeah, you know, talk about uh, climate change and you know, talking about, uh, but, but but still, that uh, you know, that yeah, the pipeline and all, but but, but still, that uh, I know with me though that um, whenever it comes to understanding, you know, doing the, the math and just knowing about where this uh, my you know, about about the country and everything, and uh, so it sure seems that way that um. For according to what I heard, though, that uh, yeah, that you know, that uh, a lot of executive orders that were signed into law from this year, and uh, want to know too that you know, like that sounds like a lot of, a lot of responsibility that uh, you know, uh, one o two that you know, if the president, 
you know, the president's going to be, I'm sure he's going to be working hard just to be able to achieve a lot of those, a lot of those goals and all, but, you know, but still, that, uh, at the time, you weren't O2, just a little bit, that, um, that maybe if, like, anybody say that you used to wear the, yeah, that, uh, that, you know, like, you know, during the, the first, uh, term of his presidency, that that's going to be, you know, a lot of work, and, you know, I guess, you know, he probably already knew that, that, um, uh, that, uh, you know, whenever you do uh, sign a bill into law, that, uh, that that's, uh, like, yeah, you know, do things change whenever you do sign an executive order, and also that, uh, you know, if that's really going to make everybody happy, but uh, I just really think that, that that's going to be what you call, you know, like anybody who say is to where it's, it's a big responsibility, and, uh, and we're talking about that if everything does not go upon what was promised, and then there could maybe be some issues too, so it's like, a lot of times, it sure seems that way. That, that really, whose job really is it to the monitor about what the work in progress is, so far as the grade report and and for what goes on in this country. And um, so, half the time, it sure seems that way. That when we think about that, though, that talk about for the executive order, though, that, that you know, yeah, you know, the executive orders that uh, when we that uh, you know that there, it's basically uh, another way of stating as to what a yeah. Well, you know, if you're Executive orders are these new uh, rules into a law, right? Where that, that you know, yeah, that uh, for what that well, for what uh, where our country is going, and, and for how uh, things are improved, and, and for what decisions there are made, and all that, right? But it sure seems that way. That the way we think about though is that if we're talking about maybe so, you know, quite a few executive orders, you know, that like yeah, laws that are passed and all that, and the uh, you're probably 102 that, um, that, yeah, well, you know, talk about for 12 months and all that, and by the next year, and, and a 102 that, uh, okay, yeah, well, really, that what progress has been made, uh, you know, since, uh, you know, yeah, since the president took office, and also about what bills that were passed, and then, uh, what, uh, you know, like, yeah, for what, what goes on in the country, you know, but, uh, but still, I, I just, you know, the first thing that really comes to my mind whenever I think about that a lot of times. It's like, yeah, well, really, that, um, you know, jobs can be explained in a number of ways, but, you know, still, that uh, we're also talking about that, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, whenever it comes to uh, the president talking and, you know, anything else that goes on in this country, that, uh, you know, uh, we might think is that, you know, yeah, well, really, that, uh, that uh, he already knew that he was going to have, uh, you know, like, yeah, you know, trying to... Uh, Due to the virus and due to uh, a lot of the things that's been going on in this country, and uh, what I know is that you know, do you think that you'll be able to handle all that, Mr. President? And knowing about whenever a bill that doesn't pass, if a bill that doesn't pass, and know about what you can do about that, and uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, that you know, we probably thinking too is that you know, yeah, well, really, that um. That whenever it comes to understanding about an executive order, though, are we necessarily thinking about is that, that you know, yeah, you know, it's, I, I don't really know if that means as to where the, yeah, well, thing, you know, just uh, look at it in another direction just to kind of get an idea about what exactly is it that they're, they're talking about necessarily. But uh, still, you know, I just really think, too, that, uh, you know, when, whenever it comes to uh, understanding uh, something and uh, you're probably thinking too okay yeah well but still yeah i'm trying to turn that around right there okay there we are but whenever it comes to understanding well uh, anyway anyway everybody but you know yeah anyway i uh, i i know i'm but 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 still that whenever it comes to understanding uh, i'm like yeah we're, yeah that's reversed it's reversed. You know, you can't really read that very well, but 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 still, I I know with the executive order, you know, do executive orders really? I'm like, does that really uh, put anything in the reverse or you know, turning anything inside out, whichever you want to call? It. I'm like, yeah, well, the first thing is first though, is that you know, when we think about an executive order, though, are we necessarily turning anything inside out, or if we just putting it in reverse, or you know, anything such as is toward a yeah, well. Whenever we, whenever a new bill that's signed into into law and all that, and it sure seems that way that uh, when you call meeting corners and all that, but it's like say say yeah, 
if that's exactly uh, what uh, Congress is doing, that they're going just you know just flip uh, the bill just like that. You know, these are the new rules that are going to be taking place. You know, anything like that. <laughs> but uh, I just really think that um, that uh, whenever I read about that stuff, though, and you're 102, that uh, okay. Yeah, but still, that uh, I just really think that, uh, you know, the president has got a lot of responsibilities uh, in his hands, you know, coming up. And then I know that uh, when we read about that, you know, talk about for these executive orders and everything and, and you, know, new you know, new laws, new rules in the law and all that, and uh, you're probably likely one oh two. Just a little bit that, you know, yeah, well, really, that... Um, that when we think about that, though, is that, uh, are we necessarily thinking about that, um, that we can go ahead and, and, uh, set the rules based on what we suggest and based on what we ask for, what we request and all that. So if we all know what a request is, right, a request is another way of saying this to where I highly recommend that we follow, you know, these suggestions based on my feedback. You know, I suggest that we try this or just because, you know, yeah, if you're a business owner, or maybe if it's, a, you know, any other reason at all like that. And um, so it's, it sure seems that way that um, that whenever we think about that, it always toward, yeah, whenever a bill passes, that that's another way of how, uh, you know, the parties are basically saying is you know, they are setting, you know, what they highly recommend. They are set, but they are putting requests. I'm like, you know, it's, it's another way of how you want to call us is towards, like, yeah, it's a request. And, um so when we think about that, though, it's like, yeah, it's a request and also it's a responsibility. You know, great power becomes great responsibility, right? But I just really think, too, that, uh, that you know, yeah, that uh, if we're, uh, we're talking about within the next year, though, that, uh, you know, you want to know, too, but, uh, you know, yeah, that uh, all the executive orders that were, you know, that took place, you know, during, you know, after the first 100 days, and uh, talk about for the progress, right, and, uh, but still, that, um, you know, I, I know that, to me, though, that that sounds like a real big responsibility, and uh, to me, though, it's like, uh, you want to know, too, that, uh, that if you signed a number of executive orders with a certain time of the year, and uh, like everybody else might even say, too, that, you know, really, that, uh, that sounds like a lot of, uh, a lot to, to follow up with, and then, of course, a lot to remember, and then also, but what all that needs to be done just to be able to, uh, to just to be able to pass a bill, and um, so that that's one thing you know, that, that comes comes to my mind too, concern. But uh, but on the other hand, too, that uh, the president can probably also say too that yeah, well, you know, talk about for jobs, you know, jobs that uh, most jobs that. Uh, that don't require a college degree, but uh, there are some jobs out there that are going to say is to where that, yeah, well, you know, if you meet the criteria for those jobs, and you're likely to want to know, too, that, um, that, you know, why would you want to turn a job opportunity down just because that, that you know, it's a full-time job or that, yeah, that uh, they want to push beyond for what you signed up for. So it's like, yeah, for the White House, especially for the press secretary and all that. So it's like, yeah, well, whenever you do, uh, you know, if you do, uh, you know, wind up uh, applying for a job, that it sure seems that way that, that you want to maybe want to tell the president that, you know, whenever you first apply for the job, it sure seems that way that the package was a lot more, you know, detailed than what you thought it was. You know, it was a lot more, there was a lot more responsibilities on that package than what you thought it was. And, um, and so that's why it sure seems that way that, um, that when we think about that, though, that, uh, yeah, well, whenever you look at a job description, that, that the first thing that's really going to come to your mind, though, is that, yeah, well, really, that you you really want to work that job, that task about what you feel comfortable with. And, you know, you sometimes, you know, you uh, get really overly tired and stressed out, if, especially if you put in a, maybe an over a five-hour shift, you know, out of a whole course of the day, like during the whole afternoon, that if you're going to be working a job, and uh, like everybody else, probably thinking too, that yeah, well, whenever you're president, and we want to know too, that whenever you're president, and let's just say if you're going to be, uh, you know, a single, you know, if you're going to be a single mom even, or and talk about for, you know, for women's rights though, and talk about for other things that goes on in this country, that, um, that whenever you're president though, 
that uh, what's one thing about uh, talk about for decisions made about whenever it comes to finding work if it's required to look for work and if you can't find work then this is a, these are the programs that are available to you and this is what you can do just to be able to solve those problems and so it's like yeah that uh, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that uh, that number one that uh, yeah well you know those tasks are not just given to you, you know, like, yeah, you know, do you really, uh, you know, they're, they're not given, uh, you know, they're not given, I guess you say, if you want to kind of call it, yeah, I'll just go ahead and just say gifts, you know, like say that, yeah, are they, are they gifts, but still, do you, uh, do you uh, have uh, to go get them? Yeah, do you have to go get them? Or are you going to wait until they come to you? Or do uh, you uh, need uh, to uh, wait until they come to you? So it sure seems that way that that's kind of like the question right there. Is that the things that you are qualified for? So a lot of times it's like, you know, how do you know when you should go to that uh, that dream job? How do you know whenever you should go and go to that? Uh, you know, whenever you should go to that position, and or and how do you know whenever that you need to wait until that job comes to you? So it sure seems that way that uh, that whenever we think about that, what the what the president talks about, though, is that a lot of times it sure seems that way. That uh, for the most part, that uh, you know, yeah, you know, whenever it comes to uh, reaching out to those jobs and then those jobs to be reaching out to those candidates, and it sure seems that way. That you know, number one, though, that uh, that maybe uh, you know, your job performances are not going to be available to that company until. You know, uh, let's just say that, yeah, well, number one, if you don't have a profile to where people can actually go there and visit, you know, go there and just to see what you, what you, what your work is like and all that. So, so it sure seems that way that like anybody would probably say too, that really, if there is really an executive order based on any request so far as that, um, that there's a company, there's a company that, that checks out your resume and checks out your profile and let's just say that, yeah, you know, number one, though, that uh, you may not know if you have the proper training just to be able to do that job. And uh, so that's uh, the first thing that's going to come to your mind is to where that what you're qualified for. And uh, so that there's a lot of things that really come to my mind, too, uh, that whenever I think about that, to where is it to where it really that, you know, the right the right fit. Yeah, the right fit, you know, for that for that job and um so how do you know, uh, you know, yeah, they talk about for the executive world, but, but still, how, how do you know whenever that job is the perfect fit, you know, that perfect fit for you? And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we think about that, you know, the present speech, though, that, uh, that whenever it comes to understanding about, about jobs, though, that the jobs can be explained in a number of ways, though, right? But uh, if we were to think about that to where that, um, that uh, jobs, that um if you were to be assigned a task, though, that uh, would you want to write on a uh, write any sort of cover letter? Would you want to write a documentation explain to where that uh, that yeah that uh, you know, any uh, rough challenges and also about uh, what you're willing to show what what you know your willingness to what you want to show to this employer about you know yeah that uh, whenever you first to go to a job interview though. A lot of your training uh, may not be there right away, and uh, in case of anybody that may want to know too, that uh, when uh, we when uh, we talk about a job, though, that uh, we also talk about is, is that uh, the yeah that um, based on what you do, and uh, the first thing that's really going to come to your mind when we think about that is that uh, yeah, whenever you first uh, came to this uh, company, that you were actually. Uh, you're ordering something. So let's just say if that was the case to where that you were actually checking out on how to shop there. So let's just say if that was the case that, you know, yeah, you were actually, you were actually going there to shop. You weren't actually going there just to be able to uh, 
apply for any sorts of position of some sort. So let's just say, like, uh, you know, like you know, by 102, that, um, you know, could you also use it, like just a little bit of example of an executive order to where that, you know, that was not the original plan. And even, you know, even if it was, so, but, you know, decisions that are made and, and also about, you know, anything about which call, you know, infrastructure and then, you know, job create, I'm like, yeah, we could, you know, and I'm like, yeah, you know, rights and responsibilities, rules into law and all, but but still, it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, whenever it comes to a number of things that took place, you know, during the whole full course of the year. And to me, though, that that sounds to me, though, that uh, a lot of, like anybody, my 102, that if we're talking about, you know, uh, up to 200 or so executive orders, and at U one oh two, that okay, yeah, well, you know, if really, that do you think that you'll be able to handle that? And uh, I mean, I really don't know if that's really out of the question or not, or like everybody else might even say that, uh, you know, that's really another way of saying is toward it. Um, that yeah, well, if you have a team of supporters too, number one, they are willing to uh, work with you on what needs to be done and what, what needs to be taken care of. And uh, so it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, like the president would probably say too, that, yeah, I I could not have done it without all you, uh, you know, with the, uh, with the American people, you know, like with the, with the Americans and plus you doing our fair share of the work and all that. So it sure seems that way that, um, that whenever we think about, the, you know, a new rule into law that, um, then we know we think about an executive order, though, that uh, we're also thinking about is, is to where that, uh, you know, does that basically mean is to where that things change or does that basically mean to where that, yeah, well, uh, people are actually listening to uh, the voice, you know, people, uh, if they're, they're going to go ahead and they go out and vote and then uh, they're going to go ahead and make a suggestion and all that. And then they go ahead and speak to what you know, to what they highly recommend to anybody else. And uh and so it sure seems that way to word it up. Um, when we think about this, is that, the, yeah, a new rule into a law. But everybody else might even say, too, that, hey, you know, I didn't write the law. You know, I didn't write the rules and I didn't make the rules or anything like that. But let's just say if you were to set one rule and one requirement, you know, the whole process in a matter. And let's just say that that, you know, that one rule and that guideline would also be about as to where that, yeah, well, really, that uh, if people were to make you, you know, take a, you know, if they were to follow your suggestion and listen to your opinion about anything, really, and uh, one of those would maybe be about as to where that, yeah, well, just knowing about our technology, though, and then also about the job creation, though, that, uh, you know, really, do companies really need to know uh, their employers before that, that they start talking about all these rules and requirements about you know yeah if your if your score if your I, IQ score is less than a 50 50 percent or something like that so a lot of times what I do read about most of the time you know, yeah is the scores your IQ scores or you know, yeah your test scores a lot of times and I can go and put on here your test scores most of the time. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that, yeah, your test scores have to be up to, uh, I can go ahead and highlight this right here in bold to where that, yeah, you know, it seems like to me that a lot of times things change whenever your test scores go up. If your test scores or your know, scores, when scores go up you know, to a higher percentage, then chances are that, that there's going to be that ability to where they, oh yeah, you know, to, chances are that people are going to want to hire you for that job or things go, are going to improve whenever you, if you pass the test or if you do succeed to the next level, that, um, that, that that's, I'm like, you know, so yeah, so it's, it's another way of how you want to cause this to where that, you know, just to be able to help improve the process of the matter to where that we think about test scores, we, th we think about scores and, uh, I don't think the president said that, but like in case of anybody that may want to know too, if you're not going to say jobs, you're going to maybe say agendas and you're also going to say scores. And um, so it's another way, you know, I'm like, yeah, you know, scores. 
So teachers can probably say too that uh, you know it scores. You know, is that also and also an important factor of the matter that when we think about scores, when we think about scores, do we think about jobs necessarily? When we think about scores, you know, when we think about scores, that those are supposed to be achievements, right? It's it's another way of stating, yeah, that's an achievement, and uh, so it's like a lot of times you want to know too that. Uh, you know, if the president is going to say that, if anything, maybe during the baseball game or something like that, if he's going to be at a game or some sort, some sort of tournament, you know, the Olympic tournament, tournament or something like that. But you know, still, that uh, talk about for scores, and um, so a lot of times it sure seems that way. That um, you know, it's you know, you know, listening to these uh, executive orders, though, that you want to know too. That you know, do you think one year? Is going to give the president enough time to just to be able to accomplish a lot of those, uh, uh, of those bill, uh, a lot of those, uh, you know, promises. Uh, but but still, that I know, and I know that he uh, he probably already knows that you know, he had his um, like yeah, you know, he's already got his hands full with all the all the, the duties and everything that you know since he took office. But still, that uh, but talk about over right here though, that uh, talk about for scores though. So like anybody who's going to be uh, a student or, you know, any source of achievement so far as, uh, you know, a small business owner. And you're probably thinking too that, um, that yeah, when we think about scores, when we think about scores that we also think about is toward that, yeah, if you do very well on the test and, uh, you know, you see improvement and chances are that, uh, you know, people might say is toward it. Yeah. Well, really scores, scores are really, uh, the key factor matter here, and like everybody else will probably say too, if it's not going to be the executive order, it's going to be scores. And uh, so really, try to think about that. Think about the, the score. Th think about a score right here. You know, a score right here. You know, yeah, think about scores. A score is supposed to be an achievement. Yeah, scores. Scores are supposed to be an achievement. So, yeah, scores. So, the higher the score is, and then uh, the chances are that, yeah, yeah, that, that person is going to succeed. And also, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can go ahead and make that a little bit bigger so that way we can see that right there. But uh, still, that, uh, yeah, scores. Set an, set an achievement. So, yeah, that, uh, that score, I'm like, yeah, it don't really have, you know, it could maybe be maybe 100% or maybe up to 200% or something like that. But still, that, uh, you know, I just really think, too, that when we think about an executive order, it's another way of how you want to cause is to a score. And um, so it's, it's another way of how you want to call, you know, for an accomplishment. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that when we think about that to where that, uh, you know, yeah, it's it's another way of how you want to cause this to where that uh, when we buy our, you know, buy America, you know, made in America, that uh, we also want to think about is this to where that, uh, you know, try to think about our accomplishments, what we found out, and then what, what we find out about, you know, based on our studies. And, uh, you know, just be surprised, right? But um, anyway, uh, but uh, just knowing about... Um, with the exact like uh, executive order right here, and the, you know, yeah, see that uh, the stimulus package, uh, but but uh, I just want to talk about over here, everybody, about that, about that. But there's still that uh, your requests and orders, and but still that, uh, but I just really think too that uh, whenever it comes to applying for a job, though, that uh, you want to know too that you know, can you really score very well on a job interview if you have an interview with the with the with the company that. Uh, you know, can you really score very well during that interview? And people might say is toward a, yeah, it's, it was a 10 to 10 or, you know, yeah, it was a 40 to 39 or something like that. Or, yeah, well, a lot, sometimes, yeah, whenever you go to those job interviews that uh, people are going to maybe say that we decide to go ahead and pick another candidate or, yeah, thanks for your time. You know, whenever you do schedule an interview that, um, that some of these employers are going to maybe say that, uh, that, you know, you go to these interviews and they're going to be asking you questions and all that. And let's just say that if the score is going to go up, you know, just buys as to where you, uh, 
you get positive thinking to where that they're going to go and ask you the questions. And if you go and give them a good, reasonable answer on a certain topic, and then they'll say that, yeah, yeah, well, you know, interesting. Or, you know, yeah, I, I didn't know that. Okay, well, what, you know, how does that work? And so, so a lot of times, yeah, yeah, good, positive thinking. A lot of companies would say that to where if you can actually show them what you do and how you do that, and uh, more likely that chances are that companies are going to take interest. And uh, whenever they take interest, and uh, that's usually whenever it happens to where that uh, they're going to ask for more of your time. And uh, whenever they ask for more of your time, you know, then that sets another agenda to where that, you know, yeah, well, you know, uh, whenever it comes to, uh, you know, yeah, well, you know, do you mind... Uh, you know, uh, training, I'm like, yeah, we got a client here working for, you might know, like, do working on a project of some sort. So, so a lot of times it's like, you know, the way we think about that, though, that uh, whenever we think about jobs, though, that um, you know, do we think about scores? You know, do we necessarily think about this is to where that, uh, you know, this company uh, came across your resume. They found, um, yeah, good wins. And I guess if you want to kind of call it, this to where that, you know, yeah, I can also, uh, say good wins on there <laughs> yeah can we really uh can we really uh win uh you know uh the ticket i'm like in case of anybody say that you know yeah good wins good wins yeah i'm trying to you know, it don't really have to be all in capital letter like a exclamation point right there good wins <laughs> In case of anybody that asked me to, that, you know, yeah, good wins is just like saying that good news or bad news. You know, whenever you say good wins right there, good wins, good wins, what, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, it means, in case of anybody that didn't know that, that, that you know, that means is to word that, that you, know, you were able to come across uh, something that you worked hard for and that, uh, you know, you didn't think. You know, you didn't think that something out of the impossible was going to was going to be achieved, and uh, so let's just say that in case of anybody that may want to know too, that that the bill is not going to be, uh, you know, this is not going to be so expensive if you if you put a little bit more of the hard work in, and uh, just knowing about, you know, the right place at at the right time, and just understanding the right process of the matter. So it's like a you want to know too, buy America, made in America, right? You made in America. And uh, so I can go and put that on here. It's like, you know, I can put that somewhere on here, just knowing about, you know, that's what the president said right there. I talk about made in America. Yeah, made in America. Made in America. So you know, just knowing that, you know, if we were to use it like a, like a, any source of logo, I'm like, yeah, any source of phrase. So like you, if you type a document right there, and but you know, you talk about for good wins right there. But anyway, I know that's a lot of writing right there and maybe a lot to remember right there. But I guess it's like uh, whenever if you were to form any source of a, of a layout, you know, type up any Word document right here, just talking about, you know, for the things that come to your mind and the things that you'd like to achieve and all that. And um, so it's like 102 that... Uh, you know, if you want to know where to start, well, you can just uh, start out by saying this to where that, uh, you know, this is what you know, you know, as of right now, but then maybe within a week later, you might know more. You know, by the next day, you'll know a little bit more. But anyway, uh, in case of anybody that may want to know too, yeah, I was going to put that on there too. Good wins and then also more. <laughs> so, yeah. So, when we say more, what exactly does that mean? Well... <laughs> We're not going to say only, in case of anybody that may want to know too, it's not recommended to put only on a resume. You know, I am only available, you know, yeah, I am only available during a certain time. Like, yeah, you know, I only do this or I only do that. You know, how you know, how can you be really uh, flexible with it whenever it comes to uh, showing a, a, you know, your ability to where whenever you can do a job and all that. And I know a lot of jobs out there will probably say too, if you want to be flexible with a, with a position, that uh, the first thing that you're going to maybe say is, uh, yeah, you know, the first thing that's going to come to your mind most of the time. 
the first thing that's going to come to your mind most of the time is, uh, yeah, well, I only do this, or I'm only trained. I only have the license to do this or that. And So, yeah, if you set any restrictions, maybe like on a resume or something like that, then like anybody say that, you know, really, that, uh, but it's something to think about. But anyway, yeah. Uh, Talk about for good wins right there, but anyway, hope that's information we're talking about for the executive orders. But um, anyway, um, you know, talk about that executive orders. But anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.